Thank you. Let's go to our chief election analyst, Tom Connell, and it's looking pretty clear, Tom. Yeah, it is. So I said before, let's just get a little bit more information in case something really strange is going on out there. You never know. Um, primary vote to recap. You can see Labor's vote here. Crucially, 41.57%. What we're seeing in terms of a match swing is the Liberal Party losing about 4%, 3 to 4%. And that's disastrous because they need to increase vote based on the fact that UAP and One Nation so, uh, are not in at this time. So what's happening here is that vote's gone out of the system and it's going to Labor and some of these other parties, but the Liberal Party is still going to lose vote overall. How it's playing two-party preferred as well. This swing to Labor, this is the key one here. This is the, the match swing, 6%. So whilst this 56 from Labor is not going to hold up, it's projected now to get to about 53. The other crucial thing here is we're seeing the lead from Labor has grown to, what, 5,500 votes. Now, um, the information I've got so far is that Postals will head towards Labor uh, towards the Liberal Party, I should say, but again, a swing against the Liberal Party. They went 55-45 last time, and it's going to be more like 52-48. So the Liberal Party makes some votes up there, but not very many, because you've got about 17,000 postals. So you're still seeing a big gap. The other issue is the first Baronia pre-poll information I've got is it's a swing towards Labor. That was 50-50 already, and that's a big amount of pre-poll. You're talking five figures. So at that point, Labor's lead just gets too big. The Liberal Party... Yes, it will get closer than that. They won't be able to make up the vote. Labor will win the seat of Aston. It's more than 100 years of history. As that looks on the map as well, Kieran, if we take a look, of course, this was 2022 before the federal election. This was, uh, and this is 2023 now, just before this by-election. You can see Melbourne, Kuyong, we've got independence. We've got this now growing into further Labor territory. We've got another red, and just two Liberal seats left now in Melbourne after the last election and this by-election as well. Tom Connell, thank you. The first time in more than 100 years since the Kalgoorlie by-election of 1920 are we seeing a government win a seat off an opposition at a federal by-election. Extraordinary history being made tonight.